Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Thursday, March the 16th. It's the third week of Lent and week five in the Psalm Cycle, and thank you for joining me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Keep not your silence, O God. Hold not your peace, and be not still. Amen. Psalm 83, and please recite it with me. Keep not your silence, O God. Hold not your peace, and be not still. For your enemies make a loud noise, and they that hate you have lifted their heads. They plotted against your people, and consulted against your protected ones. They've said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be remembered no more. For they consulted together with one accord. They are banned together against you. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites, of Moab and the Hagarines, Gabal and Amnon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Asher also is joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot. Do unto them as the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin at the river of Kisong. They perished at Endor and became dumb for the earth. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb, yes, all their leaders, as Zeba and Zalmunna, who said, Let us take for ourselves the houses of God. O oh my God, make them like the whirling dust, as the stubble before the wind, as the fire burns a forest, and as the flame sets the mountains on fire. So persecute them with your tempest and make them afraid with your storm. Fill their faces with shame, that they may seek your name, O God. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yes, let them be put to shame and perish, that they may know that you, whose name is Yahweh, are the Most High over all the earth. Amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever, Amen. Keep not your silence, O God. Hold not your peace, and be not still. Amen. The prophet Jeremiah, chapter 10, beginning at verse 11. Thus shall you say to them, the gods who did not make the heavens, and the earth shall perish from the earth and from under the heavens. It is he who made the earth by his power, who established the world by his wisdom, and by his understanding stretched out the heavens. When he utters his voice, there is a tumult of waters in the heavens, and he makes the mist rise from the ends of the earth. He makes lightning for the rain and brings out the wind from its storehouses. Everyone is stupid and without knowledge. Goldsmiths are all put to shame by their idols, for their images are false, and there is no breath in them. They are worthless, a work of delusion. At the time of their punishment they shall perish. The portion of Jacob is not like these, for he is the one who formed all things, and Israel is the tribe of his inheritance, and Yahweh of hosts is his name. Gather up your bundle from the ground, O you who live under siege. For thus says the Most High, I'm going to sling out the inhabitants of the land at this time, and I will bring distress on them, so that they shall feel it. Woe is me because of my hurt, my wound is severe. But I said, Truly this is my punishment, and I must bear it. My tent is destroyed, and all my cords are broken. My children have gone from me, and they are no more. There is no one to spread my tent again and to set up my curtains. For the shepherds are stupid and do not inquire of the Most High. Therefore they have not prospered and all their flock is scattered. Hear a noise, listen, it is coming. A great commotion from the land of the north to make the cities of Judah a desolation, a lair of jackals. I know, O Most High, that the way of humans is not in their control that mortals, as they walk, cannot direct their steps. 
Correct me, O Most High, but in just measure, not in your anger, or you will bring me to nothing. Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the church and the world, for the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, for Brother Joe, our community servant, for all church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the poor, for the hungry and the thirsty, and for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Joe, our president, for Katie, our governor, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who died, especially Louise and Donna, Howard, Brother Joseph Benedict, Brother Ramon Ivan, Brother John William David, and Marjorie. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, especially Robert and Carol, Adlin and Wendell, Julie and Missy and Margaret, and for the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering from dementia, and for Bill and all who struggle with addiction. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the mercy of God community, Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the mercy of God associates. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O God, deliver us from our enemies. Gather all peoples and nations to yourself, that we may know you and be one. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.